Each household received food rations of 2 kg bags of maize meal, two 1.5 kg bags of meat, and two 750 ml cooking oil. One of the beneficiaries, Manyando Mayaha, complained that she had to wait for a long time for the distributing team to arrive while also raising concern of distance they have to travel to the receiving point. They took long to come and for the place where they told us to meet to come get our food, it's very far for our places. Some of us, we stay far and the, the transport challenge, it's also getting harder, like some places here, cars cannot reach. Yutei Skushara is another who complained that people who received food so far were women. The condition I saw when I arrived was worrisome because I only found a queue full of women. Where are the men? In all 76 people who are here, only six men are here. This can't go on like this. It's really worrisome. How were the people informed when a door-to-door -door was contacted? It seems as if it was only women who were told about this initiative. I want to see a queue of men and women to equalize things. Katima Mulilo urban councillor Kennedy Simasiku shared with the NBC team on how the program has gone so far. The list of about 1,144 um, people who were uh, authorized or rather approved to receive drought relief. So this is the first distribution ever since the registrations were approved so i must say that uh, it has taken a bit of time but it's finally here and we are hoping that as time goes all the people who were approved will receive their drought relief the voucher system simasiku says is still to be implemented as a process of registering beneficiaries on the new system is still ongoing the drought relief program is continuing as per registration.